What's up ladies and gentlemen and today I am literally gonna save your footage. And today we're gonna fix a quite common issue in filmmaking, YouTube, vlogging, whatever. If you're using any sort of unnatural light, this thing that I wanna talk about is called flicker. And if you don't know what is flicker, I'm gonna explain you right now. It's when your camera shoots the video in a different frame rate versus the frequency of the light and you kind of see the light flickering which I'm gonna show you right now I'm shooting a 150th of a second right now and uh, it looks all right I have few uh, light sources here that are not natural and if I'm gonna crank it up to 160th I think you can kind of see a little flicker and we're just gonna keep going up and up and up and uh, yeah, by now you should be able to see the flicker in the light. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be visible very well. But yeah, you see there is flickering of the light. And when you're shooting your YouTube videos, obviously like I'm doing right now, you can just tame the shutter speed so it matches the frequency and you don't get so much flicker or you don't get your flicker at all. But there is one big issue, if you're shooting slow motion, 120 frames a second, 180 frames a second or any other uh, higher frame rate or probably even lower frame rate, you can't tame your shutter speed for the frequency of the light. So you will always get this annoying flickering flicker which sometimes like, oh this is gonna look so good and then you check the video and it's flickering is like, oh no. But don't delete it, there is a very simple way how to fix it in Adobe Premiere. Let's jump in and I will show you. So here we are into Adobe Premiere and first of all I'm gonna show you the clips. These are the clips that I um, used in my last vlog. If you haven't seen that one, just follow the pop-up card into the corner and you can watch the full vlog. But uh, yeah, I learned this technique from Peter McKinnon. Obviously he's one of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, and I ever since um, I've learned it, I never had a real experience myself that I should try and fix this flickering. But let's take a look at the original clip. So we're gonna play this. You can see guys running around and there's uh, quite a lot of flickering going on. And I thought this shot was pretty cool with the guy running and the goalie jumping out. And it's, it, it looks kind of cool, but then again, all this flickering is kind of putting everything off. And then if we go to this shot here, there's just team walking and you can see flickering is really, really bad in this shot. So that's how it looked before and this is how I fixed it. This is how it looks after fixing. You can see there's considerably less, almost none flicker, obviously, except the time here. Uh, that's gonna flicker, obviously. Um, and this shot here. I guess you can kind of see still a little bit of flicker, but it's much, much better if we look at this. This is really bad and this is much, much better. So I'm gonna show you, obviously I have corrected, you can see there is an adjustment layer up here. I have corrected some color corrections because the white balance in that building in the hall is really bad. This is the original, how it looked. And this is me, my fixed one just quickly for the video. And let's see how we can fix this. Let's just zoom in very, very closely here. Uh, into the timeline uh, if you hold alt key and you're here down on all the tracks you can change the size of the track here either it's a video or audio you can just change I prefer to have them quite big so I can actually see what I'm working with I'm gonna keep this adjustment layer here on top but it's not necessary for you or whatever that's just my color corrections because I don't really like the original white balance and uh, what you want to do, you want to take your clip that you're working with, you want to hold down the Alt key and drag it up here, you want to duplicate it here. And now you want to get really, really close down here and you want to make sure you can drag it off by one frame. It doesn't matter if you're going to go forward or backwards, I haven't really experimented that much. But we're going to go one frame back because I have more space here. And uh, yeah, make sure we uh, even it out here at the edge. So what we just did, we have one clip on top of the other, but this one is one frame back. So they don't really match each other. And if we go all the way to the other end, come on. 
I'm gonna go all the way to the other end and we're gonna make sure that this end is even as well which is cool obviously you can't see the bottom clip at the moment because the top one is on top if you want to click on the top clip right here just make sure it's selected go to the effects and controls and go down to opacity and type 50 not 580 50 percent hit enter so the top clip now is offset by one frame and it's 50 percent opacity and let's see how it looks Voila, the flicker is gone. Let's switch off this clip and try again. What? Let's watch without this flickering. Let's turn it on. No flickering. So what we just did, we offset the clip by one frame, put it on 50% opacity, and it kind of fills in for the flicker. I don't know if you know what I mean, but it kind of fills in for the flickering. And uh, we're gonna quickly do exactly the same for the other clip as well. So uh, yeah, make sure we just select this clip, duplicate, put it on top, offset by one frame, make sure you even the ends out, um, do do do, effects and controls, 50%, bam, hit enter, playback. You can still see some flicker because this was really bad, but if we play it back without correction, it's really, really terrible. And then we turn on the correction, it looks much, much better. So now if you want to add any like speed ramps or anything, obviously you have two clips on top of each other, one on top of each other. If you want to add any speed ramps or anything, just you can just select both of the clips, right click and make nest. Nest, nest sequence, whatever, just type whatever you want here. Click OK. It's going to save your nested sequence down here and it's going to be corrected and it's going to be fixed and you can take it and you can use it and for example if you really want to do a speed ramp or anything you can just now go time speed and you can do speed ramps right right there right like this and there we go these clips are fixed these are not flickering anymore i kind of made it a bit long but it's it's really really simple works for the most of the case sometimes it works better sometimes it works less obviously because you offset one frame and you do 50 percent opacity and high movement slow mos you're gonna introduce a bit more motion blur because obviously because of the 50 percent opacity but i mean this looks much much better even with that increased motion blur that you can see kind of around here like around the legs you can see it's kind of motion blurry but I'll take this over flickering clip any day that's it thank you very much for watching this video I hope you found it just a little bit uh, helpful make sure you like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already check around for more videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, and by the way I've got a brand new lens that I need to do a review. Uh, this is Panasonic's 42.5mm, which would be equivalent to 85mm portrait lens. Uh, but this is for Micro Four Thirds. Really super cool lens. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for a review of this baby as well. But yeah, so far I'm gonna leave you there. Bye! Shh.